themselves the 45 and there was nothing Joe McMahon could do about it definitely uh, the 45 and this is another chance Cluxton we've seen him put these over will it carry in oh. it will so five points to two Dublin lead and going in there to uh, just try and upset the short kick out was Alan Brogan and some of the Tyrone defenders didn't like it this is what happened have a look at it again Alan Brogan went in there uh, Pascal McConnell was uh, quickly helped out by Ryan McMenamin to remove the double number 11 the hill is happy the sun has come out and Tyrone well aware that they're no, they've no need to panic three quarters of this game still to go and they don't do that type of panic Brian Duher pursued over there by Brian Cullen out there with quick hands was Rory O'Carroll but it's left behind to Martin Penrose trying to chip it into Owen Mulligan defended well initially Mulligan has to go after it again and the referee spotted a foul as a Tyrone player is on the deck that's what happens after the pass well, in fairness he didn't do a whole lot no it's a good 35 metres at least from the target one Tyrone could do with and Penrose has kicked it over the bar he's their only scorer and after 23 minutes of play their three points come by virtue of two frees and one point from play Brogan breaks it down but only to the waiting Ryan McMenamin of Tyrone out via Joe McMahon it comes out to Davy Hart picked up again here by Brian Doerr little block on it there by Kevin Nolan into it quickly came Sean Cavanagh but look how far out he's come he's left Mulligan on his own inside and Tyrone break from a deep position Carlin was involved Mulligan there to finish and he's put it over the bar and it's now six points to five and Tyrone are making a wonderful comeback yeah this is a this is a serious point the Simons is around him trying to put pressure on him but he just pulls it off so quick over the shoulder brilliant score Kavanagh that's Colm Kavanagh he's got players to aim at Sean Kavanagh's brother is just waiting for it here he is not the best of passes and it allowed Brian Cullen to come in and get him from behind and knock him over there we yeah. are the elbow coming out into the back Mulligan then to tie it up and he's got three same as Martin Penrose four of their six points have come from freeze and it's six points apiece Barry Cahill important now to see who's going to get the next score Kavanaugh was in there the other Kavanaugh, Colm Kavanaugh got it down to Kevin Hughes about to be challenged by Michael Fitzsimons came off a Dublin leg, came off of Barry Cahill another great block there Ger. that's Colm Kavanaugh's second massive block in the game Yes, yeah, superb skill there by Colm Cavanaugh, who's uh, adapted really to the role of midfielder. He's been moulded by Mickey Hart and the coaching team to play at midfield. Philip Jordan we know all about. And Philip Jordan has kicked the lead point for Tyrone. Going into the lead for the first time after half an hour of this All-Ireland quarter-final. Got into the clear, got it on the right, showed composure and straight as you like over the bar. Well, now having gone behind Dublin, you wonder about their approach to the next, say, five minutes before half time. Philly McMahon. Well, it's a huge one. It's an enormous kick. Superb by Philly McMahon. Just his second ever championship point. Well, you might remember he got one against Armagh in the qualifier. And he's kicked a beauty here to tie up the game at seven points apiece. Tyrone have created more scoring chances than Dublin so far, 14 against 10. And now looking to set up number 15 and maybe take an interval break with uh, something of an advantage in the tank. Into the final minute of the opening half. 
Conor Gormley, Sean Kavanagh, rounding one or two players. Cheap fouls. That's the, one of the problems of playing this high-intensity pressure game. That it messes really, really disciplined. You start giving away silly frees when players start putting in their hand and holding. So as we head into the additional time, Penrose kicks and drops it in over the bar to add to his personal tally. Davy Hart trying to line up McGuigan here to burst his way through. They can't stop him. Penrose! Oh! Strikes the crossbar. Kavanagh blocked down by Barry Cahill. Great bit of excitement in the last 30 seconds of this first half. Kickouts taken quickly to Ryan McMenamin. Loose player outside, Philip Jordan. Trying to make headway. Inside towards Oid Mulligan. Got that wonder goal in 2005 against Dublin. Kicking off his right and kicking smartly and truly. He's got a fourth point. And Tyrone open up a two-point gap. Super score. This is vintage Mulligan. This is what he does best. Just turns off, wheels off, and gets onto his right foot. And he could do that all day. But Kevin Nolan setting off now here. Little run away to the left here by Bernard Brogan. Five points so far in the match. All of them from freeze. Back it comes to Keon O'Sullivan. Slip back in again towards the corner forward. That looks good. It's a one-point game. Bernard Brogan six, that's the first to come from play, and it's ten points to nine. Ten minutes into the second half. Great Dublin score. able to stay with Tyrone. On O'Gara. One man to aim at against two defenders, that's Bernard Brogan. Across Joe McMahon, after him Ryan McMenamin. Brogan needing reinforcements way way back 30 meters back to his brother Alan Brogan but they managed to keep the attack alive they're behind by a point not any longer level for the fourth time Alan Brogan's first point so the Brogans are well up for it now and that's good news for Dublin as they level it again Brian Cullen tries to open up this Tyrone defence with a very astute pass to Alan Brogan but now having a bit of work to do he's left a number of defenders behind him back in towards his brother and it's cracked over the bar and Dublin lead the quarter final by 11 points to 10 yeah that's a great score the Brogans again are added in the corner well, what a pass by Brian Cullen I think it was it was indeed a fantastic pass into the corner the slip lets Alan away from it nice connect with the brother and that's a goal chance that flies over the bar Dublin have stood up strongly, got away to a decent start. McConnell, huge one down towards Brogan, they've isolated Brogan and Joe McMahon. Might have been denied a goal earlier on, and this time he's just as content to take a point. But it's nine points now for Bernard Brogan. He got eight when they played in the league, and people said, you know, that was uh, just the league. McGuigan, nicely up for Mulligan, good play by Mulligan, beyond O'Neill, oh he was in between two minds there, he had a score for the taking to level the match, I think he tried to overcomplicate it and play in Stephen O'Neill. Yeah that's what he'd say, he sends a great dummy, cuts inside, we all thought he was going to go for the goal but he did overcomplicate it exactly. Here's Brian McGuigan again, onto his left. It's travelling high, the umpires are behind the goal, shake their heads, wave their hands, and it's another one wide. And the number of wides now for Tyrone, 13. And Mickey Hart looks on here, a little concerned, I've no doubt, but there's still 10 minutes to go. Tense for the managers, tense for the fans. Just bouncing it here and waiting is Joe McMahon. Martin Penrose again. Kavanagh reaching for it and he does well to beat Philly McMahon to it. Kavanagh on his left to try and tie up the match and it's gone left. And he's having one of those afternoons. 
did everything so right, Ger. Everything so right. Wins the ball that maybe he shouldn't win. Cuts inside and really should swing it over. Rory O'Carroll picking out Ger Brennan. Back goes Stephen O'Neill to try and block his progress. But it's still Brennan who boots it away in there. Broken down by Brogan as far as Paul Flynn. And Flynn outside of the but it comes down to O'Gara. He's kicked another one. Owen O'Gara. Two goals last week against Loud. And now one in the 65th minute. And Dublin lead by 113 to 30.